Hello my wonderful subscribers. Uh, here's a um a quick little Cinema 4D tutorial on um uh it's it's sort of the Minecraft animations I do. I'll do like a, a series type thing. So um this is the model I use. Um first thing you want to do is uh you can name all the the parts like arm, left arm, right, head, torso, whatever. Okay, but um first thing you should do, whoops, I moved something. Edit Alright, create a null object, and then um, take all your your uh, your OBJs and put it inside the null or your objects, not OBJs. And then I like to I generally name stuff. So uh, there we go, and um, <clears throat> so you have complete control over Steve through the the one OBJ or the the one null, excuse me. And then um, go, it's a good idea to go to each object and then go to mesh. Axis center. Whoops. Axis center. And then hit execute. Go to the arm. Uh, take it on the Y. Make it 60. Execute. Go to the other arm. 60. Execute. Take it to 100 for the legs. Execute. Execute. And since the, um, the torso never really moves independently, Although you might want it to, uh, but I, I don't really bother with that because uh, I don't ever have it move independently. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's basically what you do. Um, for keyframe animation, like uh, this this is easier because you don't have to set up a rig. So, like, you can take rotation, uh, the rotate tool, hang on a minute, and then you just, you know, you can keyframe it however you like. You have uh, full control over it. And you got the, the head as well. This is how I did most of my first animations. I started using the uh an actual rigged model. That's just so I can get the bend. This is a uh, this is for early um starting and then you can use down here you can use the uh what's it called? The 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 rotation settings. Um so yeah, that's um it's for the first bit. Oh, oh wait, but uh, for keep frame animation, let me just uh, show you really quick. Um, it's the go to the little key in the corner, click it where you want the the animation to start, and then go to your next frame. I'll just take it to like 15 or whatever, and then um, pull your arm, his arm up, however you want it. Set the next key frame, and it will follow a path. Um, to edit the path, you have either sp uh, spline linear or step. Step just sends it uh, straight to the other uh, it skips all the in-between frames. Linear takes it on a linear path like a straight path to there and spine is sort of like it's sort of like easy if you've ever used After Effects. That, that might make sense. Um, uh, I generally use linear though but um, sometimes I, I do use spline. <clears throat> uh, but yeah that's basically it. Um, other than you might want to change your, you might want to turn on ambient occlusion to get depth. But yeah, that's uh, basically it. So thanks for watching. There should be more tutorials. And yeah, subscribe please. Bye.